Hey, it's Luxury Fred, and this is the 2020 Rolls-Royce Wraith Black Badge. Black Badge is Rolls-Royce's performance designation uh, with cars that have uh, some styling upgrades and a little more performance uh, suspension and engine tuning. Uh, this Wraith has 623 horsepower from a 6.6 liter V12 and I took it on a road trip from Palm Desert up into the mountains of Idlewild. This is an opportunity to kind of give you guys a, a, a look at this incredible car and why it is um, one of the world's most expensive cars, why it's so amazing to drive and what it's like to drive, again, in a, in a real world situation, taking it on a road trip. The first thing that you can see uh, is that we have what's called coach doors, which open from the rear. And that's so that you can just easily get right in like this. So you get in and then you might say, hey, that door is far away. How can I close that? Well, no problem. This is a Rolls Royce. So you do have buttons up here to close both doors. And now we're ensconced in the Wraith. You can see my other videos where I talk about the details of this car, the options, the you know specifications, all that kind of stuff. What I wanted this video to be is just a pure what it's like to drive the Wraith, what it's like to take it on a road trip and, and that kind of thing. Um, and again, you can see my review. You can get all the other details on in my other videos. So uh, let's go. Okay, so here's the next part of our little drive. The famous or infamous California 74, which is known as the Palms to Pine Scenic Byway. So this is a 50 mile stretch of road that starts here in the desert of Palm Desert, you see back there. And it goes uh, from the palm trees of Palm Desert to the pine trees of Idlewild, which is up there. So we're gonna take that road up through the mountains and we're gonna end up all the way up there. Ready? So the first impressions and the driving experience is endless power from that V12. Uh, you know, no matter what gear you're in, no matter what speed you're in, just always incredible power when you jump on it. And um, nice sound from the sports exhaust that you're kind of not expecting from a Rolls Royce. And uh, I think it's really good. I like the mass of this car. You know, it's a big, car. Uh, I've talked about it before. This car is bigger, th longer than a Tahoe, a little bit shorter than a Suburban, and almost as wide. So although the driving experience and the suspension and things like that are sporty, the, you know, it's a big car. So not a lot of body roll or lean or anything like that. Very smooth. to the experience you get with the regular Wraith or Dawn, uh, but just a little bit more sporty. And when I say sporty, a little bit more sport-tuned. And it's funny because they still wanted it to give you that iconic Rolls-Royce magic carpet ride that every Rolls-Royce is known for that just glides. So when you take this on the freeway and you're not, you know, on a mountain road like this, it just wafts. It's, it's wonderful to drive. So I think this is a good time to talk about what's in this car. Uh, we have a 6.6 liter V12 engine. Um, in this black badge edition, it's tuned to... Five 
black badge also has a slightly more sporty suspension and it has a sports exhaust so when you jump on it it's a little louder than the standard uh, Wraith okay okay can you see outside there no more desert no more desert so uh, we made the drive uh, we're about uh, 20 minutes outside of Idlewild just um, about to go into the mountains, uh, kind of near Lake Hemet, if you know the area. And uh, just impressions, just just drove um, about 40 miles, curving mountain road, rises about three, 4,000 feet in elevation over those 50 miles. Um, and just incredible, really, really uh, impressed with the driving experience. Um, you know, you do forget that it's a big car. Uh, the handling was great. The power is just endless from Najin. And uh, just a pleasure to drive. Really quiet. And uh, it's really amazing. This is the Rolls-Royce sports car experience as it is a, a two-door coupe. So it gives you a more sporty ride. It's a driver's car. It's really made to be uh, driven. Whereas a lot of Rolls Royces, it's more comfortable to be in the back. And this is a, uh, a four seat coupe. So you do have two individual seats back there that are very comfortable, but I, I think the best place is to be up front here. Okay, so just give you a little more view. We're again, almost in Idlewild up here. And I think it's the San Bernardino Mountains, you might say. Beautiful area. It's a big valley I'm gonna show you in a second that kind of looks like you're in Montana or something else. Uh, we did get some rain, so it was interesting to drive the Wraith in a little bit of uh, wet roads, but hey, it's a British car, it's made for that. Uh, this color is Adriatic Blue, and uh, again, you can see two doors, and the black badge gives you the black chrome grille, as well as the black uh, Spirit of Ecstasy hood ornament. The uh, black badge package gives you the black badges there as you can see normally they're chrome and you get special 21 inch uh, I think they call them carbon alloy wheels which are different than the ones on the standard uh, Wraith. Okay so we're ending our drive here in the mountains uh, this is a ranch I'll put the name up you can actually rent it for weddings and stuff like that but this always reminds me of being in Montana even though we're 30 minutes away from Palm Springs. Look at this incredible scenery. 30 minutes away from Palm Springs, up the 74. So that's Lake Hemet, and Idlewild is kind of at the top of those mountains there. So I'm gonna head back to Palm Springs now because I am cold on my uh, road trip here in the 2020 Rolls-Royce Wraith Black Badge. So I must admit, a little nerve-wracking uh, driving a half-million dollar car on a mountain road with a cliff on one side and the rocks on the other. Really no room for error, but it's a great, great driving road, whether you're in a car or a motorcycle. So the other impression or the other note is the extreme silence of the driving experience. Although this has the sport exhaust, and you can hear that a little bit uh, rumbling when I when I step on it, totally quiet cabin, no road noise, no wind noise, no nothing, which is part of the Rolls Royce experience. Uh, coming down the mountain now, heading into Palm Desert. That's Palm Desert down there, and in Indio, and the Coachella Valley. Uh, Joshua Tree is on the other side of those mountains on the far side of the valley there but you can see we have this great view as the road takes us down for the next 10 miles uh, along the mountain curving two-lane mountain road heading back down into uh, Palm Desert down there to end